My name is Malenka and I make wearable chainmail art. I found out about my alopecia a few days after my 11th birthday. I noticed that there was like a patch where I didn't have hair and like at first I thought maybe it was like a normal thing so I looked at the other side and it was different. After a few months it started like falling out really fast like it started shedding like I would maybe like brush my hair or like put my hand in my hair and just like clumps of hair would fall out. Then when my eyebrows and eyelashes started falling out, that was really hard because it completely like changed my face. Like you don't realize how much like eyebrows and eyelashes like add structure to your face. So I like didn't recognize myself in the mirror. My friends at the time in middle school when they first found out, they kind of made like a spectacle out of it. Like I remember we were on the bus and they noticed like the bald patch and I wasn't ready to tell them yet. And they were like, oh my God, do you have a bald spot? And then I told them like, yeah, I don't know. I'm taking treatments to try to grow it back. But they were like, oh my God, Malenka's bald. And they were like screaming it in the bus. What I really liked about the chain mail was that like it was obvious that I didn't have any hair under it. like. You could see that I was bald, but it was distracting enough that people noticed the chainmail instead of that I don't have any hair. And I had been thinking about wanting to stop wearing wigs because wigs are just really confining. I always felt like I was hiding something. I came to school bald and people were like, oh my god, that shiny thing on your head, what is it? So like, I loved that because people didn't ask me right away, like, where did your hair go? people were more interested in the chain mail, so I could not necessarily have to talk about it. But as I wore the chain mail for longer and people talked to me more about it, I got more comfortable telling people, even like strangers, about why I didn't have any hair. So it was kind of like a gateway for me to be comfortable about talking about my hair and my alopecia.